Hello and welcome to the internet's most biased review of Killzone 2, where we intend to review this hot PS3 exclusive with nothing but our bias because we are so biased. I'm sure that's what many Sony fanboys want to hear, because apparently they love getting upset about a game that should make them happy. And with Killzone 2 being a rather fine product that oozes quality and finally provides PS3 players with a solid online game to rival anything on the Xbox 360, their bitching and moaning has become even less justified. Shit, that's us. Let's go. Unlike the hyped promises, this game is not a golden Tibetan child that will lead us to the promised land, end world hunger, and make incest not only legal but socially acceptable. However, Killzone 2 is a slickly produced, consistently intense shooter that gives PSN users a reason to be smug about their free online play. In the game's single-player campaign, you take on the role of Sergeant Sev something or other, who is apparently a midget because his point of view seems incredibly stunted. You're charged with invading Helgan, home of the gas-mask-wearing, orange-eyed Helgast, who don't seem to be that evil outside of their nefarious English accents. Still, this is not a game that likes to dabble in moral implications, so just shoot the limey bastards and let God sort them out. Killzone 2 is thin on plot, and the main characters are as detestable as they are interchangeable. I struggle to differentiate between any of the heroes, since they all seem to be the same person, just with different faces. Watch your fire, Sergeant! However, this is made up for by a fantastic enemy in the Hellgast, their consistently entertaining battle cries making them a joy to fight. <laughs> The main villains are also given a terrific lease of life by the vocal talents of Brian Cox and the inimitable Sean Pertwee. We will unleash such terrible vengeance! As well as the short and sweet single player, there is a rather deep multiplayer game that eschews regular death matches for quick fire rounds full of changing game types, ranging from assassination to territory claiming and bomb planting. Nothing revolutionary, but well paced and a lot of fun. The main draw to the multiplayer is the promotion system, where players earn points and gain ranks with increasing benefits. Performing in-game tasks also rewards you with ribbons which grant extra abilities. As you continue to play, you'll unlock new weapons and find new classes such as Medic, which lets you heal down players. There is loads to uncover and explore, but unfortunately character progression can be agonisingly slow, especially if you're rubbish like I am. Ultimately, this is a PS3 exclusive that's definitely worth getting your hands on. It looks impeccable, sounds great, and provides a very heated style of intense first-person shooting that takes a little getting used to, but provides plenty of rewards. PS3 fanboys, stop your bitching, and just enjoy the bounty that your god hath provided.